Germany called in. Germany called in. Good morning, campus. Right. Watch it, sir. Oh. You smell something, Dave? No, what is it? The sweet scent of victory. The biggest narcotics ring this side of Barry St. Edmunds, I'm just about to nail them to the wall. What do you ring? Go on, make yourself scarce. Right you are, Inspector. Or should I say Chief Inspector after tonight? Come on, Dave. Can't really see me sitting behind a desk, can you? Sound like Inspector Flint? What the hell's going on? Gary. I yelled at him to fucking stop pouring. It's fucking horrible. I see. Make a fucking note of that, Dave. <laughs> Sir, these were found near the top of the hole. Nice bit of parking. <clears throat> Morning. Sir. We've got the owner of that cavalier in the office. This is a free democratic society where every man is innocent until proven guilty. Taking down the nick, don't let him out of your sight. Anything, Brandon. Don't tell the bastards anything. Hard-nosed bunch, aren't they? But more like football hooligans. It's when they are football hooligans. So, how long do you intend to keep me here? That depends, doesn't it, Mr. Weld? Whether you know more about this than you're letting on. It's shocking number of husbands these days who go around murdering their wives. How was archery practice? Ooh. You'd be surprised what we can find under a fingernail, Mr. Wilt. Fibre of the victim's clothing, a stray pubic hair. The key to deductive reasoning lies not in the obvious clues, but in the trivial. The tiny, seemingly minuscule details, which may appear irrelevant, but to the trained eye. Uh, sir. For mucus. Listen, Inspector, there really is. So, what do you reckon? Painstaking process, Dave. He's a tricky bastard. Fancies himself as a verbal contortionist. In logic chopper. I'll have it sewn up by midnight. It's for you, Inspector. <sighs> Flint. Page one. Excuse me, one no, minute. Please, Inspector, this is silly. <laughs> Mr. Will. No thanks, I had yesterday. Right. Do you want to make a statement, Mr. Wilt? Thanks, Dave. So, here's the form. That one's yours, this one's mine. That's so you've got your own copy of the conversation. You're not being charged, you're just making a voluntary statement, all right? Why's nothing happening, Dave? You... Press play and record simultaneously. Yeah, 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 all right. Say something. Say what? Anything, anything for level. Right, let's start again, shall we? It's a very complicated story. Don't worry. You slimy little punts! It's your wife who's down that hole, and you're the man. Well, 
Not much in here, sir. A few chicken wings ground into the carpet. Someone's urinated in the tall boy. Good God. I'm depressed. I'm frustrated. My marriage is going nowhere, and nor is my career. True, but you mustn't let it get you down, sir. I'm not talking about me. I'm putting myself in the mind of Henry Wilt. Well, he's dragged here to a party, right? Where he's humiliated. The focus of his rage, his insane rage, is his wife and these uh, West Ropers. My God, he must have come back here in the middle of the night after everyone else had gone home. Gives me goose pimples just to think about it. There's, uh, there's three bulldozers and six mechanical diggers just rolling up out the front, sir. That's right. And they're not leaving here till every inch of these grounds is turned over. We've almost nailed him, Dave. Now, sooner that second hole at the college finished, at least we'll have one of the bodies we're after. But how do we get that lucky sod to own up? He's not outwitting me. I'm sure you'll think of something, sir. <laughs> Is this your wife, Mr. Will? Yes, but it is. Brazil, Cranham, Brazil. Seems your fan club's here again, Mr. Wilt. I want to see the expression on your face when they lift her out of that hole. I'm quite looking forward to seeing yours. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I thought she'd have burst. Me up if you like, it won't do any good. You're all there, it'll do me a power of good. Well, he's knackered but still facetious. Says he's thinking of calling Amnesty. Come on, Dave, let's give it another go. I wonder if they had this problem with the Manson family. 25 so far, I managed to find some more in the cupboard. Right, Henry, I'd certainly need the keys One together, sir. Something's got to give. Easily, yet ingenious. Yes, that's it. Just keeps on mounting up, doesn't it, Henry? Excuse me? I knew it. I knew anybody who could pull that doll stunt must have something really filthy up his sleeve. Yes, but that... I think I need to go and have a little lie down. Are you telling me this maniac Wilt came in here on Sunday night and put three dead bodies through our mincer? That's what he claims. Is it feasible? I don't know, I've never tried. Where do you put the heads? We normally put them with the bone waste in the animal food bins. 